Hey guys, it's Anu here from Lovell Soccer and today we've got a play test for you guys. It's the all new Mizuno Morelia Neo and also the Rebula from the day and night pack. Now let's get straight into it. Let's begin firstly with the Morelia Neo. Now it comes in blue, white and orange with the branding mainly done in white and you can see it's predominantly a blue boot. Tech wise guys, if you're a big fan of leather, then this is a boot you should be taking a look at. It's made out of K leather known as kangaroo leather and it's really soft, really responsive and it's just gonna enhance your touch and comfort whilst playing. It comes with a centralized lacing system, ensuring you get a good lockdown in the forefoot area of the boot. As well as that, guys, we've got an external heel counter at the back here, ensuring there's little to no heel slippage. I also like the combination of conical and bladed studs at the bottom on the sole plate, ensuring you get good 360 rotation, as well as that good traction for when you're looking to accelerate on the pitch. So these Mizuno Morellias, I've got to say, guys, they are ridiculously light. So if you're kind of a speed player looking to beat your defender or beat your man, these are definitely a boot you want to be taking a look at. Now let's take a closer look at the Rebulas. They also come in what I would say is a lighter shade of blue with the branding done in white also. There is also a hint of an orange accent colour coming through the studs. Now tech wise guys, Again, it's a K-leather upper, kangaroo leather upper, really soft, really responsive. Even on the touch, you can see the creases and it's only going to add to the comfort while playing in these and also the touch you make when making contact with the ball. Replacing the traditional tongue, Mizuno have included a mesh inner liner for a more snug fit which runs from the forefoot into the sole plate. There is a CT frame which is made out of foam, ensuring yet again better comfort and not only that, adds to the integral structure of the boot. The laces are slightly off-centred, ensuring you get a larger surface area for striking the ball and then moving to the back of the boot, unlike the Morellas, there's an internal heel counter here, reducing any heel slippage whatsoever. Now, Let's take a closer look at the sole plate, which is predominantly bladed studs, ensuring that you're able to accelerate past your defender to get that strike off on goal. So guys, we've come to the end of the playtest today. Now, if you're a traditional player and you love your leather wrappers, that kind of soft cushion sensation yet you love the lightweightness of the modern day boot then this is definitely a boot you definitely want to be taking a look at you can do so on the level soccer website i'll leave the link in the description below to where you can do so but until next time guys see you later <laughs>